All right, surprise party time. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. <clears throat> you slip off your shoes and grab the skates from Diego. <sighs> All right, it's on, guys. Yay! Did somebody say party tunes? Craig cranks the boombox all the way up. What do you want to do first, Kira? Alright, so last time I went straight to the ice skating, so this time, let's go grab some refreshments. You and Diego clomp over to Raj's stall in your skates. Welcome to the Ponder Bar, dudes! Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. How about two hot cocos with a little extra zing? Raj, it's very early for marijuana. Just saying. Also, that would be gross. Sounds good. Hook us up. Right, okay. Raj begins pouring liqueur into delicious looking chocolatey drinks. I see. He's not trying to get a stone. He's trying to get us drunk. Fantastic. I love it. All before noon. Kira, I gotta tell ya. Most people think I'm kind of crazy. Everybody just sees some stoner dude who's always tripping. But you never once made me feel anything but respected. I'm assuming the alcohol also came from the cabins, but I'm really confused as to what all was in these cabins, because there were evidently enough parkas for at least... Who are we missing? Ten people, I think. Yeah, I think at least ten people. And skates that fit everybody. Or at least the people who wanted to skate. And a boombox. And enough equipment for Zara to be, like, lighting up the hills and making visual effects. Coffee, chai, hot chocolate. Um. And, and like, pen and paper for the scorecards. Whereas... Like, and all of this was in one cabin because it wasn't in the cabin that we were in with Jake, so... Did every- did they just, like, end up in the storage cabin or something? Ten people? No, more than that. Because we've got Mike and Kelly. Twelve people sleeping in one cabin. That was a storage cabin? I don't know. I don't know. I think there needed to be another cabin for this to really be feasible. But it's still really, really, really cute. I love this scene. Seriously, it makes me so happy. Aw, Raj. Thank you for that. You need to point with him. And when we finally get off this island, I'm gonna show you what a real party looks like. Yeah. It's a deal. Raj passes you a hot cocoa. You take a sip and head toward the ice. You and Diego step onto the frozen pond, carefully balancing atop your skates. You both do your best at pirouettes. I said this last time, I'm gonna say it again. I would not be doing it. I would be falling on my face because I am not good at ice skating. I, like, if this is supposed to literally be player insert, I would be dying. <laughs> you look good, Kira, but I look like Muppets on Ice. No! No, because I look like Muppets on Ice. So, this just means we are both out there being terrible at ice skating together, and I love it. I love it, it's so cute! Jake comes skating over. May I have this dance, princess? So we can say, don't see why not, or let's race instead. Hmm. Do I want to try the other option, or... Because the don't see why not is really fucking cute. 
but like I do already have it highlighted and on YouTube. Hmm. But it's so cute. Nah, we're gonna do the other one. We're gonna do the other one. Let's race instead. <laughs> All right, but fair warning. I'm not gonna let you win just cause I like you. No, you're gonna win because I'm gonna fall on my face. I'm trying to skate with hot chocolate in my hands, by the way. Like, there's a cup to deal with. Last time we just had a piece of gingerbread, which, you know, you can stuff in your mouth and go, but no, I now have a thermos of some kind to wrestle. Like, I'm gonna die. It's gonna be great. The two of you lunge forward, gliding over the ice as fast as you can. Yeah, on my face. You pull into the lead, but Jake grabs a hold of your hand, sending you both in wide circles. You little shit! Oh my god! Oh, this is so cute! I'm having so much fun. Ah, Jake! To be fair, he's not really getting ahead of us. He puts on the brakes and you come to a stop. Did we establish a finish line anywhere, by the way? <laughs> what can I say, princess? You make me want to do crazy things. Yeah, like propose to us after knowing each other for like a month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the other problem I have is timelines in this game. Like, real lived time for us and for Jake is about a month from landing on La Huerta to now. And we're engaged. Yeah. That's not really how this works. I'm told. Would not work for me ever, but that's what I'm told. Over on the snowy bank, Grace holds up a card reading eight. This makes less sense with the racing option, I'm gonna say. Because, like, what is she scoring? She, yeah, has nothing to say about it because this really doesn't make sense now. What? Eight? Really? Whoa, that's, uh, <clears throat> better than I expected. Yeah, because it was a race. It, there's not a sc oh, yeah, this is weird. Grace turns the eight sideways, then flips over the card. We love Kira to infinity. Yay! I like that they kept this in. I wish they would have just found something more natural for it. It's so cute. Look at her. She's so happy. All right. I think it's time for a throwback. Point with Craig. Craig hits play on the boombox's second deck. This one's dedicated to my bro of bros, Kira. Bro is a gendered term, but okay. You notice Zara fiddling with her projector. Hey, Kira, I designed this just for you. I hope uh, <clears throat> you like it or whatever. Mm-hmm. You like us. Stop it. Suddenly, the slopes are covered with spiraling helix shapes, creating a mesmerizing display. This is still really weird with the background, but okay. It's my Hadean star sign! <laughs> yup. Quinn skates over, smiling shyly. I've always wanted to try this. Everybody join hands! Your friends rush over and link up, creating a long chain. Okay, now, people on the end start going in big circles! Oh, this is Quinn's proposal scene? <gasps> Oh, how cute! Sorry, I guess that's a spoiler, but... Oh, this is... Oh, that's wonderful! Oh, I love this scene even more! I love it! It's beautiful! 
Everyone is slowly spun around and around like the hands of a clock. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Diego tumbles harmlessly to the ice, starting a domino effect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I'm going to... Oof! Quinn jumps back up. It's so cute. <laughs> that was so much fun. All right, guys. I think it's time we give the ice a rest. Everyone returns to the bank of the pond. You sit down and begin unlacing your skates. Estella crouches in front of your feet. Hmm, allow me? So we can say sure or I've got it. This is the one answer that I am not going to change because I think from Estella, this is like I love you and I do not want to be a jerk. So, sure. Estella makes short work of removing the first skate. She takes your right foot in her hands, kneading out tension. Also, I knew there was a foot massage coming. My Theo always used to give me foot rubs. He was a little rougher than this, though. Oh, just like that feels great. She removes the other skate and moves to your left foot. Soon, you're feeling more relaxed than ever. Her dark, earnest eyes look into yours. When we first arrived on La Huerta, everyone had concerns about me. I'd come here for something very different, and it scared them. Again, you came for murder, Estella. Yes, that is very, very different from coming for vacation. And it should scare people. Especially since you did a murder. Yeah. No, they, their, their fear was entirely justified, Estella. We were the naive ones here. But you and I always seem to understand each other. You never mistrusted me, never had doubts. I should have you came for murder. Kira, thank you. I would have forgotten my own humanity if it wasn't for your kind, open nature. Yeah, I'm still upset that I lost the check back at the end of book two. Yeah. Of course, Estella. You're my friend. That's all that matters. Not murder, just friendship. Yeah. Who would have known our Saturday morning cartoons would have led to this? <laughs> yes. It's really done. I do. I love this scene. It makes me so happy. You gaze at the exuberant faces around you and find yourself unable to stop smiling. Because it's... Wonderful! This is a wonderful scene. I really, really, really do. I love this scene. I'm really scared that it's standing in for our Ember of Hope, but I love this scene. Thank you all so much for this. Our pleasure, Kira. You deserve it. I guess we should probably be getting back, though. Everyone gathers up their stuff and returns to the rest of the group. 